Welcome! I hope you're looking forward to the aforementioned uh, tests of nunchaku versus stick, uh, both of a similar size. Here I'm doing the weigh-in, uh, just so you can see that they're pretty much the same. Uh, for those used to the uh, American measurements, it's about 1.2 pounds, each of them. There's a little bit of an advantage for the straight stick, uh, just from the material that I drilled out. Uh, but I think for our purposes, it's good. And let's see these in action now. So quick disclaimer, um, yeah, this is not a demonstration of my incredible skills. It's literally been 10 years since I hit anything hard. So uh, here we see me warming up with the stick, uh, getting some, some decent hits in. And uh, to be honest, I think these were a little bit weaker. Uh, here we see I'm coming in with an nunchaku. And I was surprised. I'd, I'd done this one other time, and it came out slightly stronger with the stick. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm getting better hits with an nunchaku. So, realistically, I think there's more variance between each strike, uh, especially since this is kind of a hard target, than there is between the two weapons. So I think they're very comparable. Here we have this. And... You can see very similar speed, uh, and again, it's shown that Nunchaku is better, but I don't know. I, I think they're they're pretty close. Uh, both of them would be terrible to be hit by. Here, I'm still trying to warm up a little more. I'm goofing off just a bit, uh, doing these, you know, wide charging strikes. That, <laughs> I mean, this really isn't that technical, uh, but I want to get a good feel for this before I try out some more difficult stuff. And here we have a surprise. Yeah, that last one uh, broke my nunchaku right. mm -hmm. already. Uh, but that... And now I'm doing multiple strikes. Um, same direction, just one after the other. So a lot of people are saying how you, you lose all of this control with an nunchaku, like it's flying around everywhere, and you'd have to be some kind of a master to do another strike. And I really don't see that. I mean, you, you feel what's going on. And um, I would say on this one, the stick Start. does feel a little Stop. bit better. Uh, it's a little bit quicker. And here I'm doing it again, switching directions this time. And... Yeah, you can do it uh, with the stick, mm -hmm. uh, but I think this one actually favors the nunchaku. Um, I mean, again, it's it's like you can do a lot of the same techniques, and on some of them they just feel better with the stick. Uh, some of them they feel better with the nunchaku. I will say that um, it's more tiring with the stick. You know, people have been saying that it helps to reduce the fatigue on your hand. Yeah, you, you definitely feel Start a difference. Up. Okay, here's a half strike. So instead of doing a swing, a full 180 degree swing, I'm just coming in halfway to see, uh, you know, how much difference that makes. And I, I feel like the entry with the nunchaku feels a little better. Here we have a thrust followed by a swing. Uh, this one I was surprised how much harder it is to do with a shorter stick than a spear, maybe like five feet, just because of how much the tip moves. Uh, it's, it's hard to be accurate. You'll see I missed there. Um, with the Nichaco, it's easier just because it's close enough that you can still be accurate. But of course you have the disadvantage in range. I mean, here I'd say these are, these are pretty similar actually. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit different, but, um, I mean, both of them work. And you see, with stick, it's not that easy. You, you really do need to train. And here we have embarrassing levels of badness. Okay, this hurts a lot. Um, the stick hits you from the inside. I don't care what Chad says, nunchaku is not the only weapon that hits you. 
I could do it with an Encheco all day. Uh, but it's challenging because I'm working on the bottom. I don't want to have it swing and hit me back. The target it is, not the weapon. So this next section, check that I'm actually hitting not with the tip, but with the cord, or more accurately, the handle supported by the cord. So long as there's a connection, it still transfers the energy. Anyhow, that wraps it up for today. Um, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Give me any suggestions for future videos.